Greetings programs and welcome back to Arc Neo Reviews where I am taking a much needed break from all the Cyberverse stuff that I picked up on clearance. Just being done with that for a little while and I'm going to take a look at something from what is my G1. For anyone who doesn't know, Beast Wars was my first true exposure to Transformers and my first figure was Beast Machines. So, here we actually are looking at the Beast Machines version of Black Arachnia. And this figure is actually really, really cool in my opinion. I, I really, really dig her. So, um, Spider Mode, as you can see, has got a few little gaps here and there. And uh, the robot head is pretty visible back here. Um, I think this... Okay, yeah. So her abdomen does go down a little bit more to cover the head better, but it, with the clear plastic here and everything, I am very careful not to try and force this figure. So you may see uh, some things not being fully transformed correctly. That's me making sure it stays in one piece, because this thing is, you know, this is officially a 20-year-old figure now. So, um... Right up here, in the side of the abdomen, you do have her maximal spark crystal. And, uh, yeah, uh, quite a bit of posability in the legs, though it is it kind of weird how it works. These two legs actually share a ball joint here, underneath. So they rotate together, but then the back leg has its own ball joint as well to move on its own. So you have to move both of them then move the back one, <laughs> whatever sense that makes. And then uh, you get two more just basic hinge joints right here and right here. Exactly the same on both of these legs, and you'll see why in a bit. Uh, the back legs do have two ball joints, one right here and one here, as well as a uh, swivel right there, right past that ball joint. And then uh, the front legs are just on, you know, ball joints there, and then a swivel right in front. And like most Beast Machines figures, this one does have, you know, a little bit of an action gimmick going on. So if you pull back on these front legs, it makes her mandibles move. And that's just creepy looking so as you can see uh, each side manipulates its own you know side of the mandibles so you can kinda work them how you want but it's creepy looking and it's not made better with the fact that it moves her eyes <laughs> but there you go that is her uh, her gimmick in this mode and really quick just because I have it I thought it'd be funny to take a quick look at her old card back here. Um, watch on Fox Kids, because that still exists. But yeah, as you can see, you get your product shot, your spoiler of what she's going to look like in uh, robot mode there. You can see her old KB Toys sticker. If you look close, you can kind of see... This thing was 12 bucks back in the day for a deluxe class. I miss those kind of prices. And then on the back you get your directions, your bio and your stats, and your little cross cells, and you know, all, all the other guff you'd expect. Her challenge level when they still did that kind of thing and actually tried to tell you how hard it was to transform a figure. Basically, all the stuff that gets me properly nostalgic. So, we'll actually get down to transforming her, and she is both really easy and yet oddly complicated to transform. So, we're going to start. The ball joint here for the back leg is also on a little swivel right there. So, you're going to bring that swivel down to get her legs lined up, and then you'll actually tab 
these legs together. Like, just down the whole length of them, there's a, just a bunch of tabs. Just going to go through, stick all of those together on both sides. Which is very, very difficult to do through a viewfinder. But, you're going to do that. And you're going to flip her over. You're going to rotate this part right there. And then straighten out the legs. So, same thing on this side. Rotate. Straighten out. There you've got a robot legs. Then you're going to come back here, take the abdomen. It's on just kind of a, a long pole down in there. A little black piece if you can see it. That is going to double hinge, come down. Right there. Um, again, I think it might go down a tiny bit more, but I don't want to force things. Go ahead and use the uh, ball joints here and the hinges. Bring these legs up, kind of get them out of the way. Rotate her around at the waist. Which can be a little tricky to do sometimes. Going to take uh, her shoulders back here, which is hard to see in this black void. But you're going to take this, fold it forward to actually get her shoulders in place. Just kind of situate her arms however you want, and uh, as well as her little fingers. And then straighten up her head. Here, once I, I gotta move the camera again. Or no, that worked finally. So straighten her head up, and then you're gonna pull up right there to reveal her, you know, main eyes. And then if you want, you can pull back right there. And while it's a little tricky to see, that exposes her other six eyes. So now that we're all done here, you have black arachnia in her robot mode, and this is a pretty, pretty neat figure, actually, for its time. So, um, as you can see, very, very kibbly in the butt, unfortunately. She does hide just basically all of her, you know, unused alt mode right there, but I'm sure someone's into that. Um, <laughs> she does have her, uh, she has an hourglass actually on the back of her hair, which is interesting. And you can kind of see, just in the way they sculpted it, the whole techno-organic thing that's going on in Beast Machines. Um, as for posability, ball joint in the shoulder and at the elbow, as well as a hinge right, or a swivel right in front of the elbow as well. You do get hinges right there for the fingers, which these were terrifying when I first got this figure actually because these had like locked in place from being unopened for so long so I had to just grab them and force them to start moving which um <laughs> was not a fun experience but we're okay nothing broke and now she actually has working fingers um she can do the full splits she can kick forward really really well um can't kick back or anything because of again all the spider extra bits um decent little knee bend as well as you know she does have a ankle tilt right there or ankle rotation her ankle moves <laughs> i'm not sure which joint that is what i'm supposed to call it but and she does actually have a uh, waist rotation as well and that's actually supposed to be her attack gimmick in this mode if you grab a hold of her waist and pull up, which is fighting me quite a bit right now, um, it rotates a little more freely once you pull it up, or at least it's supposed to, did back in the day, and that's her, like, spinning attack gimmick. 
I I I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes the gimmicks back in this day didn't actually work at all. It's like they just left them on the package, you know, because they forgot to take them off. I think that might be the case here, but either way, um, really cool, really just kind of different figure and. If you're a fan of Beast Machines, or even Beast Wars, I do recommend trying to find this one. You know, she's definitely going to stand out in your collection, because she is just so different from every other figure. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.